Hello, my 420 spot family, sorry been a little delayed on the videos. There has been a lot going on with rapid mental healing for veterans. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and we need your help go now to rmhffeed.org and donate now. Thank you. And in the cannabis and psychedelics news today the top things to know. The South Carolina House of Representatives killed a Senate passed medical cannabis bill on procedural grounds, without allowing any debate on its merits. A Missouri representative says his marijuana legalization bill is likely dead for the session, but a campaign announced it has more than enough signatures to put the issue on the ballot. However, they're facing a new complaint from other activists who allege petitioning violations. The Food and Drug Administration sent its first series of warning letters about Delta 8 THC products that the agency says are being illegally marketed. The Delaware House Health and Damp, Human Services Committee voted for the second time to approve a bill to legalize marijuana possession and gifting. Separate legislation to regulate cannabis sales is also advancing. An ACLU of Nevada official writes in a new op-ed that it's time to close a loophole in state law that allows police to continue marijuana arrests despite voter-approved legalization. The White House Office of National Drug Control Policy announced new components of a U.S. Columbia counter-narcotics strategy. Several senators spoke about the prospects of passing marijuana banking legislation through the America Competes Act. Senator Lisa Murkowski, R.A.K., said she spoke to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, D.N.Y., about setting up a meeting to discuss cannabis issues. During a debate, Washington, D.C., Mayor Muriel Bowser, D., and election challenges discussed marijuana and other drug issues. South Carolina Democratic gubernatorial candidate Joe Cunningham, a former congressman, tweeted about the failure of a medical cannabis bill, saying, Governor McMaster and his allies in the legislature could screw up a two-car parade. This is a historic failure of leadership by this governor and legislators to pass a watered-down version of the most conservative medical marijuana bill in the entire country. Rival Democratic gubernatorial contender Mia McLeod, a state senator, tweeted, all of our years of hard work go up in smoke because of House Republicans. Not surprising that the SAGOP killed the bill days before the session ends for this year. That's why I've sponsored bills to put marijuana legalization on a ballot referendum. Let the people of SC decide. Currently, the state's Agriculture Commissioner, Florida Democratic gubernatorial candidate Nikki Fried put out a press release about an op-ed she published in Marijuana Moment. Massachusetts Attorney General candidates discuss their views on cannabis equity. Connecticut lawmakers sent Governor Ned Lamond, D., a bill to restrict marijuana gifting. The Louisiana House Health and Damp, Welfare Committee rejected a bill to expand the number of medical cannabis cultivators in the state from two to eight. An Oklahoma senator received a voicemail threatening a shootout with law enforcement over a bill to increase medical cannabis cultivation licensing fees. A Pennsylvania senator said there's a growing sentiment in the Pennsylvania General Assembly that it's not whether we legalize cannabis, but when. New Mexico regulators walked back a claim that there were more than one million mature cannabis plants ready to supply manufacturers and retailers ahead of the launch of recreational sales last month. Georgia regulators will consider medical cannabis issues on Thursday. Michigan regulators will host a marijuana social equity education session on Thursday. Thank you for watching this video by my420spot.com. Have a great day!